The Doxipoo is an affectionate and playful mixed breed between a Dachshund and Poodle. There are top 10 interesting facts about a Doxipoo. I would love to thank these Instagram profiles for letting me use their photos in this video. If you will like the Doxipoo and you would love to see more of it, definitely check them out. Links are in description. Number 1. Design a dog breed. The Doxipoo is a so-called designer dog breed, which basically means that it is an intentional crossbreed between two purebred dogs, in this case a Dachshund and Poodle. To be more specific, toy and miniature Poodles are used in the breeding. Standard Poodle is not so common for this mix. Number 2. History both Dachshunds and Poodles have long history in Germany, so it's possible that there were natural mixes between those two dogs for a long time. But those dogs were never called Doxipus. It was not until early of 21st century when the Doxipu cross became popular and started to be bred intentionally. Number 3. Hunter well, the Doxipu is not used for hunting, but they do have hunting ancestry. It is because the Dachshund is a keen rabbit and badger hunter and the Poodle originated as a dog hunter and retriever. So if your Doxipu will love sniffing and following a scent or even trying to follow animals that are running away from him, don't be surprised. They do have a hidden hunter in them. Number 4. Companion but of course, the Doxipu is most importantly extraordinary companion dog. It's hard to predict the temperament of a crossbreed since they can be independent as a Dachshund but also eager to please and enthusiastic as a Poodle. But vast majority of Doxipus are smart, playful and affectionate. They typically do not have problems with older kids who know how to treat dogs with respect and they can live with other dogs in the family as well. Number 5. Code Great fact is that the Doxipu is a low shedding dog. They can be almost completely non shedding if they inherit the Poodle coat, but even the Dachshund coat does not shed a lot. This dog can be a good choice for people suffering from allergies, but you should always try to spend some time with your future dog to make sure that it will actually not trigger the allergies, because there is no 100% hypoallergenic dog. They all produce some dander and saliva. You can find this breed in many colors. The most common are white, cream, grey, black and brown. Number 6. Energy the Doxipu is definitely not a couch potato. Actually, this is pretty energetic dog that needs daily long walks to stay healthy and happy. They also tend to be very smart, so you should occupy their mind as well. Some interactive playtime like food, puzzle toys or search and rescue accompanied with some shorter training sessions should do the trick. Number 7. Size the size of all Poodle crossbreeds is quite unpredictable and it's absolutely normal that there is a wide range in size for this mixed breed. Most commonly the height is between 10 to 20 inches, which is 25 to 50 centimeters, and weight between 10 to 30 pounds, which is 5 to 13 kilograms. Number 8. First Generation Most Doxipus are the first generation crosses, which means that they are crosses between the Poodle and Dachshund. There were not many attempts yet to cross two Doxipus together to create a second generation. Number 9. Maintenance the grooming and maintenance needs depends on which type of a coat the Doxipu inherits. If they inherit the short Dachshund coat, then the maintenance is extremely easy. Only occasional brush is required. On the other hand, if they inherit the Poodle coat, they will need more frequent brushing to prevent tangles and mats. Just like with all dogs, you should regularly check the dog's ears, eyes and nails and clip them or clean them if needed. Number 10. Health the Doxipu is predisposed to the same health issues as his parent breeds, but thanks to the larger gene pool, they might not suffer from them as much as purebred dogs would. The major health concerns include bloating, intravertebral disc disease, hip dysplasia, leg calf pertus disease and Addison's disease. Tell me in comments what do you like the most about the Doxipu and what is your experience with this dog breed. If you are new on this channel, consider subscribing, turn the notifications on and check our Instagram, Facebook links are in description. Thank you for watching, see you in the next video.